How's it going guys? BB here with another anime news. So to start us off, Attack on Titans composer Hiroyuki Sawano is getting ready to get started on the new soundtrack for Attack on Titans second season. He says in a tweet that he is glad to be returning to the format and the series and is now having fun preparing to record in the new year. So supposedly the second season is supposed to be coming out in spring of 2017 but this has been pushed back twice. So let's hope that they're going to keep with the spring 2017 release and we'll be seeing the second season very soon. I have some more release dates for series in 2017. First we have Gundam Unicorn Ray 0096. This will be airing on Toonami in the United States on the 7th of January 2017. Little Witch Academia will be premiering in Japan on the 8th of January. Also to be premiering on the 8th of January is Tales of Zestiria Cross, the second season. And last up is ACCA, the 13th Ward Observation Department. This will be premiering on the 10th of January. Meanwhile, the Assassination Classroom spin-off series, Koro Teacher Quest, will be streaming online on the 23rd of December. In other news, the Magical Girl Nanaho Reflections film will be split into two parts. The first film will be premiering next summer, and the second has no release date as of yet. But it has been said that you won't have to wait long to see the second film. The second season of Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphan is getting an English dub with returning voice cast. In the description below there is a video clip with a short message from one of the main characters, Mizuzuki Angus. Or should I say the voice actor, Carl McCarley. Also announced is the English voice dub cast for Dragon Ball Super. All the voice actors are back from Sheen Shamel as Goku and Christopher Sabat as Vegeta. The only one that's not returning is the voice actor for Kid Trunks. That part is now going to be played by Alexis Tipton. In live action news, it has been said that the Full Metal Alchemist live action film will be premiering in Japan in December of 2017. If you went to Tokyo Comic Con, then you would have heard about this announcement. And there was also an awesome display of Roy Mustang's costume. This film has been in production for a wee while now, but I'm still surprised that it's coming out so soon. It will be interesting to see what this film's going to be like. And in other live action news, the live action Pokemon film Detective Pikachu will be starting production in 2017. It has been said that Rob Letterman, who has worked on films like Shark Tale, Goosebumps and Aliens vs Monsters will be directing this film. It has also been said that this film will be distributed in Japan by Toho Entertainment and then outside of Japan by Universal Pictures, which means that this movie could get an English dub. We'll just have to wait and see. In other anime movie news, Yoko Watch is getting yet another film. This will be the fourth in the franchise and will be premiering in Japan in winter of 2017. In gaming news, Sony announced that the 2016 PlayStation experience that .emu will be releasing its RPG game called Wide's Origin. This will be on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Beta. Back in 2012, XE Games released the game on the PC via Steam. This was in English and when it comes to the new game that's coming on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Beta, this will have both English and Japanese dub as well as Italian, German and Spanish, so it's great to see that there'll be all those options. Expect to see this game releasing on the 21st of February. It will also be on Steam. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below where you can buy these. The game Near Automata will be coming to the West. This will be releasing in North America on the 7th of March and then not long after in Europe on the 10th of March. This will be getting some awesome special editions. Starting with the black box, this is really expensive for 190 US dollars. What you get for that price is a collector's box, a figurine, an art book, a CD soundtrack, as well as a download code for the DLC Day 1 pack. Unfortunately, you can only buy this from Square Enix online store. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. Otherwise, you can get the Day 1 edition. This comes with the game, obviously, and some digital content that you can use in-game. The physical copy of the Day 1 edition is going to be a limited run, so if you want to get this, I would suggest jumping on it quick. Otherwise, you can get this digitally. Unfortunately, there's no word as to how much the Day 1 edition is going to cost, so I'll have to update you all when I find out that. Expect to see this release in Japan on the 23rd of February 2017. Square Enix is also planning to release this game on PC at a later date, so I'll make sure to let you know when that releases when I find out more. We finally have some more information on the Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom game for the PlayStation 4. All the way back at the start of the year, I made a video on how excited I was to hear that Nino Kuni is getting a second game. So it's been said that the game's going to be releasing in 2017 sometime. We don't have an exact date, so I'll have to let you know when I find out more about that. 
but it has also been said that there'll be some cutscenes from Studio Ghibli, even though Studio Ghibli isn't in the cast list. So I don't know what that means, but I do hope that there'll be some sort of collaboration with Studio Ghibli. The first game was so beautiful and I just want this second game to be as high quality as the last. In other gaming news, Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload will be coming to the PlayStation 4 in ways of a combo pack. The two games will hit North America on the 14th of March and then not long after in Europe on the 17th of March. This game will be available both digitally and physically, but the physical copy will have a limited run where you can only buy it through the PlayStation Network store. If you're a fan of Pokemon Tournament and you're hoping that there'll be some more Pokemon added to the game, then you'll be pretty happy to find out that Empoleon is going to be added to the list of Pokemon and will be available to download on the 15th of December. In VR news, the Summer Lessons VR game is adding some add-ons that feature touching. The name of this add-on is Summer Lesson Miyamoto Hikari Second Feel and will add six new costumes as well as a situation where the player will feel like they're actually touching the character. In particular, you can feed Hikari cake and she'll also feed you cake back or you can help her treat an insect bite. This pack is going to cost 1,490 yen or about 13 US dollars. I swear, only in Japan you're going to find some sort of VR experience like this. In figure news, the Orimo character ISA that is getting a life-size figure has moved on to its prototype stage. She has now gotten a figure that is half the size of the finished product. There's still no word as to when this will actually release or how much she's going to cost, but it's looking really awesome and I want that figure. Maybe not the life-size one, I mean that would be pretty cool, but even the one that they're using for the prototype, I want them to release that. So in the last anime news, I talked about how Pantheon Stocking is getting a new project. There hasn't been any new developments when it comes to that, but we are getting a bunch of hug pillows, so that's pretty cool. First we have the sexy hug pillows of Pantheon Stocking, as well as the guy that I can never remember the name of. Then we have a bunch of life-size hug pillows from my teen romantic comedy Snafu, Captain Harlock, Galaxy Express 999. There are also Ange Vierge pillows. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I'm saying that anime right, but as you see, we have the picture here. <laughs> Last up is Akiba's Trip Hug Pillows. So we have no word on how much these are going to cost, but they're pretty cool nonetheless. In Pokemon centers around Japan, they're selling these wooden carvings of Rowlet for 11,852 yen. They're also selling this wooden Ursaring carving that is eating a magic carp for 12,778 yen. In some strange news, Sailor Moon not only wants kids to wrap up their willies while having sex using some Sailor Moon branded condoms, but now the Sailor Scouts wants us to buy a 2017 Ford Fusion car. This ad is really cringy and I highly suggest you go and watch it. There will be a link in the description below if you want to go and check it out. This isn't the first time that anime has been used to sell cars, because Dragon Ball Z, Solid Snake and even Mario Kart 8 has been used in cringy ads to sell off their cars. And not so much weirder news, but still strange nonetheless, Domino's Pizza has rolled out these reindeer scooters for the Christmas period. So in Japan, if you order some pizza from Domino's Pizza, you'll get someone riding up in this strange looking scooter. It's weird and oddly adorable. To finish us up, if you haven't heard, I'm helping out with the 12 days of anime, and we've already had quite a few people sign up. So far, Sloan the Female Otaku, Habit, the Doofing Critic, Andy O'Clock, Red Death Reviews, Shadow Blazer 3000, Moodin TV, Heavy Metal Fan 5000, Memory NK, I'm not sure how to say this one, it's either Xavi Comments or XAVI Comments, Rising Sun Reviews, The Hoenn Hippo, Kanga Kankoli, The Art of Anime, and The Kawaii Crew Reactions have all joined up this year. If you don't know who these YouTubers are, make sure to go and check them out because they're all awesome. And if you want to join the 12 Days of Anime, make sure to watch my introduction video and check out the links that I'll leave below. I'm sure I'll be adding more names to that list, so make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, as well as the 12 Days of Anime Twitter and the 12 Days of Anime Facebook. So make sure to check down below for all the links. And that's all the anime news I have for you today. What was your favourite article and is there anything that you're looking forward to? Leave it all down in the comments below, I look forward to reading them all. And while you're there, make sure to give this video a big like and share it out to all your friends. I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, please go check out the rest of my channel. I do anime recommendations, 
anime news and anime figure reviews and there's plenty of other anime content on there so I'm pretty sure you won't get bored. As I said before I'm on social media, I've got a Twitter and a Facebook and I'm online constantly so make sure to like and follow me on there. And if you want to see more from me and more videos like this then please make sure to subscribe for a wide range of anime content. From Oe to Mika, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!